Hey there, warm welcome to this short yoga circuit. I am Emily and this little strength training is designed to help you build the upper body strength required for you to take your yoga practice to the next level, meaning maybe adding in some of those fun arm balances, some inversions like headstand, forearm stand, handstand. If you need more of a warm up, maybe warm up your wrists, doing some undulations with your spine, you have to go and get that on your own because we're going to get started straight away in a sort of a forearm plank position. For this version, I want you to clasp your hands. You can tuck that little pinky finger in, bringing your elbows about shoulder width and keep them there. Step your feet back, not like a high plank, but sort of a down dog or more of a dolphin pose since we're on the forearms. Push down. Don't hang here. Push down through your forearms. Lift your tail high. Lift your heels high. And from here, I want you to dip your nose forward towards your hands and push it back up. Dip forward and push up. Dip forward and push. As, as you rock back, you might find, find that your heels are almost touching the ground. Let's go here for eight, seven, six, five, four, last three. Oh, keep pushing down. Remind those elbows. Last one here, one, and knees down. Sit back towards your heels. Roll out your shoulders. Shake it out. Just a short break before we go into our next exercise. It's going to be quite intense. Even though we're not using any weights, you're going to feel that there's a lot of strength building and most of the exercises are what we call compound exercises, meaning that they target more than just one muscle group. So probably you felt this in your arms, your shoulders, but also in your core, maybe in your legs. Find a high plank, align your hands underneath your, your shoulders, push out through the heels again, tuck the tail, engage through core, core, climb your right hand forward, left hand forward, right hand back, left hand back, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Let's go for eight, seven, push up between the shoulder blades, six, tuck the tail, five, last four, you can climb even further if you want more of a challenge, last two, Last one, hold at your extended, tuck, like hollow out your body and tuck the tail. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees. <sighs> Roll out your wrists. Shake it out. A little bit of a break before we go into the next one. Open across your shoulders, you can clasp your hands, bring the palms up, a little bit of a gaze up, a little bit of an arch in the back, opening across the front side, allowing some new oxygen to come in. We're going to come back into our plank pose, push out through the heels, push up between the shoulder blades. This time I want you to sit the butt, butt back to your heels, push forward, little chaturanga, elbows in. Back, Chaturanga. And of course, you can see we got the modifications. If this is too much, let's go seven. You can always bring the knees down. Six, five. Don't go too far down in your Chaturanga. Four, protect your shoulders. Three, last two. Ah, last one, push up all the way back, sit back, untuck the toes. So the modifications allow for you to start on a level where you can keep good form, where you can keep safe, and then eventually you might level up, not doing all of them on the higher level, but adding in some of the 
not modification versions as you progress. Oh. We got one more plank position pose. So come to high plank, tuck the tail, tap right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder, right to left, left to right, tap, tap, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ah, great. Sit back. We got one last exercise that we will dive into. It requires some mobility in your chest and in your shoulders. We're gonna go from what we in yoga call the dolphin pose into a high plank position. So again, get some oxygen and air into your shoulders, coming into our last uh, exercise, coming into dolphin pose, lowering both of your elbows down. This is where you need to find like a good distance because from here, you're gonna push through your hands and rise high plank and lower back down, dolphin pose, forearms go to the mat and come forward. Lower down and forward. Let's go for eight. Seven, six, five, hug your elbows in, don't let them splay out, three, last two, last one, dolphin pose, hold, and release, great work. Strong and intense. If your arms aren't a little bit of a jelly right now, you are super strong. So good to see you. Hope to see you soon again. Thank you. Namaste. For more yoga classes, meditations, fitness routines, challenges and courses, join me on my app, Yoga Flow Queen, where you get the best guidance towards getting strong, flexible and feeling fabulous. I hope to see you there.